Hey everyone! Today we're diving into a topic that always sparks a lot of debate. MSG or monosodium glutamate. Is this little flavor booster in your favorite snacks and takeout really the cause of weight gain? Or is it just misunderstood? We're going to explore what MSG is, how it works in your body, and whether you should be worried about it. Spoiler alert, it's not as simple as you might think. First, let's break down what MSG actually is. MSG is a sodium salt of glutamic acid, an amino acid found naturally in many foods like tomatoes, cheese, and even mushrooms. It's been used for over a hundred years to enhance flavors in foods, making things taste savory and delicious. This is known as the umami taste. Think of it like a natural flavor amplifier. But the version of MSG added to processed foods is manufactured, and this is where the controversy starts. MSG has been blamed for all sorts of health problems, from headaches to weight gain. You've probably heard people say they get Chinese restaurant syndrome after eating foods with MSG. Headaches, dizziness, maybe some bloating. But what does science actually say? Well, the FDA and World Health Organization both classify MSG as safe to eat in normal amounts. Studies show that most people can consume MSG without any negative effects. However, there are some individuals who might be sensitive to it. So yes, some people could feel those symptoms after consuming large amounts. Now, let's talk about obesity. Some people say MSG makes you gain weight because it's used in research to fatten up lab animals like mice. This part is true. Scientists sometimes give large doses of MSG to rodents to trigger weight gain in studies. But here's the thing. These doses are way beyond what a human would eat, even on a fast food binge. The real issue with obesity isn't just about MSG. It's about highly processed foods in general. Foods with MSG are often packed with carbs, fats, and sugars. It's that combination, not just the MSG, that could lead to weight gain. So, if you're gaining weight, it's likely not because of a sprinkle of MSG, but because of overall diet quality. One interesting thing about MSG is that it often hides in plain sight. Manufacturers sometimes list it under other names, like hydrolyzed vegetable protein or natural flavors. So, if you're trying to avoid it, you'll need to look out for these terms. MSG can be found in a wide range of processed foods, from instant noodles and snacks to salad dressings and frozen meals. But again, it's not the villain of the food world. The bigger issue is, what else are you eating with it? If most of your diet comes from heavily processed foods, MSG is just one small part of a bigger problem. You might also hear people talk about natural glutamate in foods versus the industrially made MSG. Technically, they're the same molecule, but the way your body absorbs and uses glutamate from whole foods, like tomatoes or cheese, is different from the faster absorption that can happen with free glutamate in processed foods. Does that make it dangerous? Not really. Again, it comes down to quantity and your overall diet. So, should you avoid MSG? For most people, the answer is no. You don't need to worry about it. If you're sensitive to it, or if you feel better cutting out processed foods in general, then go for it. But the bigger picture is about your overall eating habits. Whole, unprocessed foods will always be the healthier choice, MSG or not. At the end of the day, MSG might give you a bit of extra flavor, but it's your overall diet and lifestyle that determine your health. So next time you grab some takeout or a snack, don't stress too much about the MSG, just focus on balance and enjoying your food. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more myth-busting health content. Let me know in the comments, do you avoid MSG or do you think it's not a big deal? I'd love to hear your thoughts. See you next time.